Pressure? What pressure? Of course you have uh, pressure in any sales situation. Unlike this Boeing MD-11 from Lion Air, in which 26 people died in November 2004, many of the accidents are due to aquaplaning on a flooded runway. One hates to imagine what might happen if the pilot of a 560-ton A380 skidded out of control with 850 passengers on board. There is always the possibility of something gets wrong. It's why with everything is prepared in case the aircraft leaves the runway. We have all the tooling to pull the aircraft, this tractor, and to bring it back to the runway. To add to the stress of the safe problems, in the next stage of the test, the A380 will enter the swimming pool traveling at full takeoff speed. A feat never before attempted by an aircraft of this size. ...way at 260 kilometers per hour before plowing into a giant trough of water a hundred meters long and two and a half centimeters deep. It is one of aviation's most dangerous safety tests. At that speed and with that much water, the pilot will have to use all of his skills in order to maintain control of the 560 ton super jumbo. The pilot should not deviate his trajectory by more than 20 centimeters. On an aircraft which is 80. It's time to put all the models and theories aside and hope for the best. Finally, the super jumbo reaches the maximum speed of 110 knots, and all eyes turn to the swimming pool. Immediately upon plowing the massive A380 into the giant pool of water, a 10-meter wave is sent spraying over the wings and fuselage. For the engineers outside, everything seems perfect, and the design team are quick to congratulate themselves. No problem. The engine, the inner engine were not impacted by the, by the water.